What's up guys, Retro Sneakers here, back at y'all with a new video. You know, I haven't made a video in a while, but this video will make up for it. Now here I'm icing up all these shoes here. You can see, I have way more shoes to ice up. These are just a couple of pairs. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all them. And I'm about to tell y'all more in depth of where you can find that um, bottle of sauce. Where, where you can buy it from, what's it called, every specific detail, I'm gonna sh and I'm going to show you how to apply it also, and you know, how to use it basically, so yeah, let's, let's get into the video, so this is what you need to, you know, ice up soles, remove any type of yellowing, and I'm going to show you on, you know, basically all types, you can remove it on um, yellowing mid soles, such as on fours, like on the pure monies, classic greens, anything with the white mid. So um, if it just gets uh, like also on the fours, like the CDP fours, or you know any bread four, um, basically uh, if it's yellow, it works on any bread four. You know if it's yellow on that gray part or it looks orangey kind of, just throw this sauce on it and it'll go back as new. I'm actually gonna pop up a picture right there, and of the white mid sauce, you know just results. And um, these results are actually very, very fast to achieve. Like it does not take long. At the most, you probably need an hour. It, you get results in 15, 30 minutes. But icy soles takes a lot longer, just days of work and hours. But with yellowing midsoles, you know it's quick. You know also a yellowing uh, heel tabs like on the threes, like on fire three, white cement or yellows. You can also throw this on there. Just put it on there and. Leave it in the sun and you know you get results. Also on nettings, which I'm gonna go show you a quick clip. Um, this clip, uh, basically you can see that this netting is yellow. This is an old pair, Classic Green Fours. Got this for a good deal. Haven't done a review on these, we'll do one. Um, very, very nice um, shoe. Yellow netting from overtime. You know, you just throw this on there. Um, you get an ice, uh, icy netting, you know, very white. You know, I put a piece of plastic wrap as you can see just to keep the moisture in you, know, you also do that for icy soles um, yeah and those are the methods you could do you could also put this on the fives on their yellow netting um, you know and it'll work as well but it's just a slower process on the nettings but um yeah so this bottle you can purchase it at Sally Beauty guys it's right here here let me actually get your very very close up so yeah when y'all go and buy this bottle Y'all know what exactly what to look for, all right? See, it's a lawn care professional. 40 volume maximum lift cream. Stabilized, stabilized formula. Sorry, I said it wrong. 40 volume cream developer. 32 ounce bottle. Um, doesn't matter the size of the bottle. It's just as much as you need to accommodate your needs. Um, uh, Let me turn this around quick. Yeah, I can see that. Actually, um, you know, it has all the ingredients here. And if you haven't seen the explanation of this and basically why you should buy this bottle from Sally Beauty Supply, just look them up and call them and just tell, ask them for the, uh, sorry, ask them for the 40 volume cream salon care. Just say that, all right? This is the strongest one. Don't get any lower numbers. Just get the one with the 40. Make sure it's the cream with these red letters. Um, make sure it's this exact bottle. All right, I'm about to go show you how to apply it. But all right, guys. So all you have to do to apply this, oh, well, basically the supplies you'll need are plastic wrap to apply this. Um, plastic wrap is optional, but I really highly recommend it because it'll keep the moisture in and you don't have to keep um, changing out this uh, sauce here because the sauce will dry out over time. That's why you put plastic wrap over it so you can keep the moisture and you can just leave them out the whole day in the sun or the whole night under, under um, lamps, you know, UV lamps. But, um, yeah. You'll need, uh, you want to get the sauce um, with the, from the bottle, straight out the bottle. You just get like a paintbrush or a toothbrush. You just put it on and you put it on right here and just spread it everywhere, all right? Make sure that every single part you want to get icy is, yeah, is um, 
is covered with um, the sauce. As long as it's wet, it's good, all right? And then, yeah, and you should see results. Very, not very quick because of how um, more yellow the soles are and the, actually the, the yellowing goes deep inside the plastic when it comes to clear soles and when it comes to rubber like on the midsoles it's just very like, it's just on the outside this is deep inside so it'll take time to isolate and you know like I said you just apply it on there with the toothbrush or paintbrush and you just cover it up with plastic wrap just to keep that moisture in and you just set it out in the sun on top of something so that the sun will um, point its rays at it and that will um, activate this sauce and cause it to unyellow your soles, your, um, your, your mid soles, your nettings, your heel tabs, your, your ankle tabs, whatever you want to call them, on um, your threes that bottle is just straight out the bottle you just put it on and you're ready to go so yeah i'm actually going to demonstrate how to remove the sauce right now um so this is all you do the same instructions for icy soles so all you really do is just get your shoe so now all you have to do is you know get water and a brush and just take it off it won't yellow it it won't yellow any midsole it won't yellow your sole I mean water does yellow it over time but it won't yellow it instantly so don't worry about it just as long as you clean the sauce up good and especially since the sauce is moist it'll come off easy with just water but I recommend using the brush um, I'm gonna be using this um, paper towel with that's damp this wet paper towel and I'm just gonna take it off on the midsole um, you don't have to use a paper towel for the um, uh, yellow soles but um, you could just use a brush with that but since this is a midsole I'm just going to use this uh, wet paper towel because it will be faster this way. So, uh, so all you do is just get it and you just clean it off wherever you place it just clean it off and then you want to dry it off when you're done um, as you can see the shoe has been signed so I got this is like one of my uh, Grail is inside by Bum B. Uh, I actually have the other shoe inside inside by Bum B, LeBron, Kobe, AC Green, Marcus and Marquise, the Twins, John Stark, uh, Muggsy, uh, I forgot his last name, Bug, Bogus or something like that, um, Iceman, um, signed by a lot of basketball players, Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony, but yeah, just in this off should have seen how yellow this was before but yeah I actually cleaned it off fall and these used to be very yellow these are good like dead stuff only um, task left is just clean up the nettings on here like the mesh but I'm going to actually show y'all that in a different video so yeah um, that's it so yeah guys thanks for watching this video retro snickers Make sure to subscribe to my weekly videos on shoes, restorations, you know, this whole channel's on shoes, reviews, showing y'all my new pickups, uh, you know, we just talk about shoes here, we, I show you how to fix shoes, and I show you my kicks, and I review kicks. So yeah, just make sure to click the subscribe button right there, and that, that video is last week's video, and you can actually click on it, and you'll be able to go watch why you should buy this bottle and explaining a little more in depth but today all i really did was just explain where to buy it and how to apply it it's a very simple process so yeah so thanks for watching and subscribe